have the physics classroom doing their off the grid day and basically we have generated our own energy source to supply energy for the day or for the activity for the hour. Students decided on uh, after our energy unit what uh, activities they'd want to do uh, off the grid, right? So they had to decide on an activity that would be worth generating enough energy from their from their own human-powered efforts. We have a, an energy bike, as what we call it, is a bike generator, and uh, students can either use it to store energy or they can use it to power things directly. Uh, so for the past few weeks, we've been working on storing enough energy in the battery uh, to power activities that the students uh, voted on. So they voted to uh, have a chocolate fondue fountain and to uh, play the Nintendo Wii for an hour. For our class, it took about, um, everyone had to cycle for about seven minutes. Um, and it changes per class, but for our class it was about seven minutes per person, and we have 23 people. I think it's really fun. I enjoyed cycling, and even though it's kind of hard and tiring, it was pretty fun. Um, and now we get to work off of that, so spend time with the class, and it's a fun hour. This is important because I feel like, especially in today's world, we're, we're always trying to look for like an alternative energy, energy source. And like we also had an assignment where we had to look at other applications where people are trying to pedal and generate electricity. And I think what I took away from it was even though it is good for the environment, it is not really feasible for big, um, big uses because we just wanted to do one day and it took like so much power. So started some some interesting conversations about uh, about uh, their energy uses and uh, where this project could go uh, beyond just our classroom.